idea of reusing materials has a long history, and there are endless examples of objects made from materials which have had former lives. Our manuscript collection provides some nice examples. Although the thought of cutting up illuminated manuscripts seems dreadful to us now, it was not uncommon in past centuries. Illuminated manuscripts, handwritten texts with painted decoration, were often exquisitely illustrated or illuminated. Decorative illuminations were thus quite often cut out of manuscripts for just that reason and treated as artwork. Made on parchment, a very strong material made out of animal skin, Manuscript material was also ideal for reusing for other purposes, not just decoration. Let's have a look at what we found. This binding is an early 20th century creation designed to medievalize a modern binding on a 13th century German Psalter. The insides of one medieval manuscript were used to create the outsides of another one. The historiated initial pasted on top comes from an early 16th century German choir book, and the binding was covered using two leaves, one from a 15th century missal, and the other from a 17th century partially erased accounts record. Reusing parchment manuscript leaves to make new bindings was commonly practiced in the Middle Ages and flourished in the 16th century once printing was established. At that point, the old manuscripts may have seemed out of date, yet the parchment was still valued as a strong and durable material. It was unimaginable then to waste something so precious, but of course not something we would expect to see in a 20th century binding like this one. We can find examples of the reuse of old manuscripts not only on the outside, but also on the inside of books. There are many different ways this might have been done, but we will focus today on the decorative aspect. Here we have a small version of an antiphonal, a book containing a sung part of Christian rite. These books were usually huge volumes which required two people to carry them. They were used in monastic houses to sing from. A whole choir was able to gather around and sing from the same book. This small volume was probably made for personal use by a religious person, such as a monk or a nun. The book dates to the late 16th century or early 17th century. At some point, its owner decided to decorate the book using elements cut from at least five other manuscripts, all dating to the 15th century. As someone who lived in a monastic community, the owner was familiar with the way an antiphonal would have been decorated, and so they tried to replicate this. Here we have a historiated initial which depicts the Virgin Mary's visit to her cousin Elizabeth, the visitation. The fragment was inserted in the correct place in the text, Many other initials have had their edges embellished with red ink and pen to blend them in. Illuminated bordure fragments were often cut out rather crudely with some of the design chopped off just to fit into available space. In some cases, more care was taken to cut around the different shapes and to arrange these into new decorative borders. Here are initials from a 12th century Italian model book from our collection. You can access images of them on our website, print them and color them in. Coloring, as we know, can be very therapeutic. Use paints or colored pencils or perhaps use colored papers to cut out the individual parts and make a collage. Reuse the designs from the past to create something new.